Pets are family. Miko was only three years old, and he was my dog. Miko. He would sleep next to me on my pillow with my hand on top of him every night. The last time Mavelle saw her dog alive was the day she dropped Miko off at the groomer. Miko suffered at the hands of somebody else. He was kicked, he was slung around like he was a doll. And then he was put back on the table with his lead on, and he was choked to death. The groomer was convicted of animal abuse, but nationwide, neglect and improper care is also killing pets. An investigation by NJ Advance Media found 47 deaths connected to PetSmart over the past decade. The report says two-thirds of the animals died since 2015. Owners say they took their dogs in for a nail clipping or a haircut, and they died from rough handling or intense stress. Some dogs were allegedly placed in drying cages, unable to escape as air pushed in. According to NJ.com, at least one dog suffocated. PetSmart states it follows the, quote, highest grooming safety standards in the industry for the 13 million pets groomed there every year. So how do you know if a cage is safe? We talked to 50 groomers across Atlanta and found four using heated drying cages. We did find these photos posted by groomers online stating that their cages are safe because the dryers aren't heated. You can ask your groomer how your dog will be dried and if heat will be used. Also ask how your pet will be monitored. We can't just say, well, our plan is that these things aren't going to happen. We need to know that someone is there that can notice when a medical emergency is happening and sort of act accordingly. We contacted 50 Atlanta area groomers to find out if their staff is trained in pet first aid. One out of five said no or they were unsure. One out of four reported an emergency that required first aid. Yet, there are no state regulations for groomers to be certified. You can't just look at the credentials on the wall to say, this is a good, safe place for me to, to bring my pet. 